Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm here with the showdown to win the AMC Javelin. Um, most of you who are going for the Javelin may also either need it for the event or, uh, like I am, simply looking to get the car just to have it. Now, if you're running one of the top cars in the event, naturally you should be already at 1400 or very close. Those of us who are using less than the top cars and not to say the GR Supra isn't one of the better options it's actually one of the decently fast options coming in at about 6.9 uh, on day what this is day two or three now uh, this is day three now of the option to race so faster cars like the Bel Air like the maxed um, Supra MK4s and a few others uh, that are a little bit faster than this car including the Mustang and the others should already be at uh, 1400 or very close to it therefore there's there's a better chance that your 6.9 car or 7.0 car can now make it to 1400 not to say that I definitely will um, a fully max Corvette naturally should beat me uh, but it also depends on how well and how easy the car is to drive and I can tell you that with a lot of these cars even fully max as good as they are um, you know they may have a they may be difficult to shift uh, usually Foley max is when it gets really tricky uh, now I lost that one that doesn't hurt me that much I'm at 1200 something I'm not expecting the GR Super to have a super easy time of this like I did with the Bel Air which basically blew right through it but taking the Supra down this uh, track and this event is more in a way challenging than with the Bel Air which is basically a no-brainer you don't really have to even try to win with the Bel Air because unless somebody has a max Pontiac and unless you completely botch your run you really can't lose with the Bel Air now talking about the Javelin uh, people have been asking me on the other video where I finished the event on my main account uh, what is the best stage 6 for the Javelin so I went and took a look the best stage 6 for the AMC is the body stage 6 it, it is by far the greatest drop in time in fact I would venture to say without body you're probably going to be really stuck in the event if you use the javelin as lock in number five right at race 69 more than likely you're going to need four or maybe possibly even five stage sixes because most of you will also be short on fusions with body uh, coming in at first and I believe engine and nitrous topping out the top three you have a good chance of finishing it with those three stage sixes but if you don't have those three stage sixes you're gonna have a bit of a struggle unfortunately the Javelin much like some of the older tier 5 cars can be decent but really really heavily depend on one specific stage 6 and in this case that is uh, the body stage 6 uh, and without it you're really really gimped uh, when it comes to performance uh, dropping that performance number to where the game wants you to be again most of us will get pretty far in this event there's the hurdle races I feel it's the end of lock in three is a pretty challenging race lock in four at the end can be challenging but the real challenge still goes to race 69 where there's literally a almost one second jump in performance requirement uh, from race 68 to race 69 and many of you will get stuck at that point uh, trying to make it through I'm, I'm actually surprised how fortunate I am so far to get to the 1300s depending on how matchmaking wants to play with me at this point if it gives me a few tough opponents it could easily bump me right back down to the 1200s making my journey towards 1400 um, basically all over start all over again and cars like the Mustang are the ones that you don't want to run into because fully elite fully maxed it can trump my time by quite a bit so unfortunately unless this Mustang is simply not maxed or not well driven I am likely to lose and in this case I have my fingers crossed although I was tapping so it can't really cross it and tap but the point is mentally have my fingers crossed and he did not come through at below my time putting me now literally by all accounts one race away from getting the car but again I'm trying to withhold 
uh, my optimism here because chances are this is when you'll get a car that'll beat you. Uh, matchmaking is actually programmed to do that, I would assume, because it always ends up that way. Now, another GR Supra makes it a fair race. So here we go. Now I have a chance. Now my optimism's back up. But of course, I can't botch my run. And it looks like I did botch my run because he's ahead of me. Oh, and I lost anyway. Oh, well. So even though I was given a chance, I, I botched it myself by not running well. And now I'm two race away again. Oh, well. Let's hope I can get this done before I run out of gas pips. But, you know, worst case, we'll have to watch me add gas. So again, when you get near the point of winning is when things always get challenging, whether it's nerves or something else. But... You can assume any Supra you run into, GR Supra, will be fully maxed. And therefore, you'll have to run your 6.97 times to really uh, win the races. You can't just get away with a 7.0 run. Uh, that's probably not going to do it. And in this case, I did a 6.985, which put me back right near where I need to be. And I'll risk not adding gas yet. I'm just going to go ahead and try to finish this in two races, two pips of gas left. Fingers crossed that I don't get a really tough opponent. Ah, uh, yes, I have a chance. Now, he's already past 1400, and he's still racing. I hope he already collected his javelin, but it doesn't matter. He may give me the race, but I'm not counting on that. Oh, come on. Now the game screwed me by not allowing the shift to happen instantly like I need it. And he didn't want to give it to me. So, back to square one. Now I may have to add gas because now I'm, again, two race away from getting the car. That was kind of screwy because I clicked and it just basically didn't react. That was purely a issue with my device uh, reaction on that shift. It should have given me that instant second, but it didn't. And therefore, back to square one. I think I raced him. Oh, well, might be the same looking car. Oh, well. All right, here we go. All right, this time it gave me the instant second, which is what I need to make sure I can run well. Uh, so two times I screwed up on nerves, right? I had a chance to finish, but I botched the runs and therefore back to square one. And now, oh, 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 how about that? Just enough, just enough of my last gas pit. Not that I couldn't add gas, but this is good. This is good. It worked out. All right, 1400. One. <laughs> I'm going to go collect the car. I, I don't even want to do one more. Oh, I still I got back one pip from uh, waiting all this time getting through. That's great. But anyway, let me go collect the AMC. I, I just That's the only reason I was even doing this showdown. It's just to collect the car. I have no interest in building it. Um, I have no interest in pursuing this event with this account at all. Other than doing whatever I can up to this point. Let's see if the game synced. Yes, yes it did. And there it is. The AMC Javelin AMX Defiant. An older car that at one time was quite um, quite nice and quite competitive in the lobbies. But that was probably four years ago. Unfortunately, it is now just a nice car to look at and have in your garage. Uh, certainly one of the coolest... Um, muscle cars they introduced to the game. Anybody who's into old muscle cars, U.S. muscle cars, would love this car. There's just no reason not to. It's Look at that thing. I mean, it, it just looks great. But anyway, the point is that we got the car, and therefore my goal is complete, and I'm done. Now, the thing here is about this car is that the fusions are unique to this car. You need that fusion. And so those of you who are building this car with a fresh first time acquisition of this vehicle will have some difficulties getting those fusions. Secondly, it's a purple star car and the crates, unfortunately, in the event are still paid crates. Uh, they're not key crates and therefore your chance of getting the stuff that you need for this is going to be pretty bad. Now, that's assume I lock it in first, but understand that I can't lock it in for the second lock-in, so it's one of these, and therefore it's paid, and that's unfortunate. So, I'm happy with 
acquiring the car, am I going to build it? No, because quite honestly, without fusions, no car is worth building. And that's a tip for you newer players. If you don't have the fusions, I don't care how great the car sounds or how many YouTubers telling you this is the greatest CSR car ever. Without fusions, it's the greatest nothing. Okay, you need fusions. So don't rush to build any car until you check your fusion counts and know that you can fill up fusions in the upgrades that you need to do. And that generally will definitely be transmission, body, and nitrous. Without those three types of fusions, you're not building any car really to do anything. So keep that in mind. Doesn't matter how great the car is, check your fusions before you worry about building a car. And with that, that is my 1300, wait, sorry, used to saying 1300, 1400 um, run to acquire the AMC Javelin AMX with the maxed full elite GR Supra. I hope you liked that video. Uh, feel free to let me know how you're doing. If I raced you and I beat you, I'm sorry. Um, we all have to beat somebody to get there, right? So now that I'm done, I'm going to go back in after I shut off the video to lose a few, hopefully bump one or two of you guys over that 1400 mark. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel and would like to get notified when I put up these videos, subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get those notifications. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.